Recording episode five of Rocco on the Rocks. Action. Cue the music. What's up, rock stars? Welcome to another episode of Rocco on the Rocks. Wow. Very cute, right? I know. This is so professional. A live you. studio audience. I know. Can you believe that? I know. I love it. I'm, it's really my favorite thing, the little soundboard. Yeah, for it sure. Adds, it adds a nice touch. No, that's... Where did... You got that too? The same day you got the mics? Amazon. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got it all off of Amazon. Amazon is everything. I know. Wow. Major sly. Wow. This is awesome. I know. Thank you so much for being here. Everyone, I am joined here today by my absolute best friend, Caitlin. Aw, hi. Hi. I'm so glad that we're here. Like, I feel I like we've been, well, you've been talking about this podcast. I have to take for, my headphones off again. It's screeching. It just is making me sound so echoey. Okay. We continue. Okay. Well, anyway, what I was saying is I am actually really happy that we finally are here. I'm ecstatic we're finally here. No, I feel like, I mean, I don't know, all your friends probably know, but you've been talking about this podcast for a really, really long time. A whole year. Yeah, a, a whole, whole year. year. And honestly, like, I know last year wasn't, you know, the easiest time for you to actually mm. do this. And so I'm so excited that this is the year that we finally have Rocco on the rocks. And I'm excited that it's finally come into, you know, the universe. Oh my like, God. this is great. Thank you so much. No, I really think, like, it takes a lot for you to put yourself out I, there for anybody. Yeah. No, like, 100%. any creator. Mm -hmm. And I think this is awesome. I'm excited. Oh, my God. Thank you. No, I'm beyond excited to finally have you on oh, the show. I know. This is so and fun. This is my birthday episode. <laughs> this which is. Which means even more to me that... We're we're doing it together yeah i'm honestly so honored so flattered to be here for your birthday i can't believe your birthday's tomorrow my birthday is tomorrow another yes another trip around the sun i know this will wow. upload the day after my birthday so my birthday's january 31st if anyone's curious <laughs> it's not february 1st it's not um january 29th it's not january last week <laughs> It's January thirty yeah. first. I really have been messing with people's heads. This, yeah, uh, yeah. I feel yeah. I feel like everybody's been like this, posting you for different uh, yeah. like week. Honestly, that's part of the reason. I took a picture of you last week when we went mm. out to dinner. Sorry, I feel like I'm not close enough to this. Okay. I took a picture of you last week when we went out to dinner, and I was going to post it, but I was like, everyone's going to think it's your bread. Like, it literally candles and, like, everything, so I'm going to save it for tomorrow. No, I, I appreciate it regardless. <laughs> I know. It was really funny. I was posting everyone's, like, stuff from this weekend, and yeah. everyone was like, happy birthday, like, yeah. happy early birthday. Some people put, yeah. and, like, Ty put happy early birthday on his, Jordan put happy birthday. Yeah. De Devin's was really cute. It was, yeah, your frontal lobe is your, officially developed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I literally peed my pants. I thought that was so funny no, and so cute. No, that is cute. so cute. And honestly, they were too, the pictures were too cute not to repost. Not, no, of course. Yeah. Of course. And I yeah. was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with all of that. Like, yeah. So I would just repost them because it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> everyone, and I'm honored regardless, like for the birthday yeah. wishes. No, no one's going to wish you a happy birthday tomorrow. They're, no, <laughs> they already did their dues. Like oh, they're yeah. done. They don't have for to do sure. it again. <laughs> but regardless, it was really funny. I'm sending everyone into a crisis as I'm approaching mine, oh, yeah. my quarter life crisis. Yeah. I'm making everyone have a little crisis as to like when the oh, birthday when is. When is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that I'm not alone. That's awesome. That's so yeah. good. But yeah, I'm beyond excited to have you on. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This of is so course. fun. Is this going to be your first scrump or dump? Actually, yeah. I think okay. it might be. I do scrump or dump every day by myself like i use the word scrum yeah. like in my everyday vocabulary so technically it's not my first scrumper dump but it but is with officially you officially with me the official scrumper dump oh my gosh yeah. i'm so honored to be doing this so for those of you who don't know and are new to the episode or the show this is our taste testing segment it's called scrumper dump scrump is in scrumptious and dump as in ew <laughs> And on today's menu of Scrumper Dump, we are having mimosas. Yeah. We're celebrating a birthday. And yep. it was also Kate's birthday earlier in it January. It was, it was, yeah. 24 and 24. 25. Yeah, I know. Crazy. That's so those cute. aren't the dates. Those are our ages. No, those are our ages. <laughs> yeah. But, okay. So for the champagne we're using today is Kim Crawford Prosecco. So it's Prosecco, not champagne. Don't come for me. That's fine. And then we have uh, Simply what is it simply orange simply orange orange juice simply orange orange juice beautiful i couldn't find the small tropicanas 
No, this is good. This is good. I love any orange juice. Honestly, I wanted to do mimosas today because I love brunch and I love mimosa. Well, we originally were going to film this in the morning. In the morning after our weekend of Beyond Celebration. Yeah. So... And we just would have been bombed. We were going to get bombed later the day on Sunday. Like, yeah. it just was going to be a lot. Yeah, exactly. So, but this is good. I love mimosas. I love brunch. It's my favorite meal of the day. And, um, and it, honestly, I yeah. hate breakfast, but I could fuck up a brunch. I went to um, a baby shower the other day and it was a brunch, but it was kind of late. It was at like one o'clock and I was oh. not really brunching at No, all. no. It needs to be like at 12. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Or, uh, yeah. Quite late, but yeah. I'm I'm here for this today. No, this is perfect. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, let's see if this will not pour over. You just gotta, yeah, just gotta hold it. Oh, there it is. Oh, that sounded nice. Nice. Okay, fabulous. Nice. And we pour the champagne first. Yeah, just pour the champagne first. That's fine. I don't really think it matters. I usually do the champagne first, so I see how much champagne I'm yeah, drinking. Yeah, that's you know? what I was kind of going for. Yeah. That sounds nice on the mic. Does it? Yeah. I know these pick up a lot. I know they do. I feel like I wasn't speaking into it that well before. So oh, thank nice. you. Thank you. So sweet. Yeah, it's Slay. You got it. Here, I'll take it from you. Thank you. Got some OJ here. Beautiful. Actually, you know. Oh, what? and garnish it off. We have garnishes yeah. with us as well. We, it's, we have a cute little spread going. We have oh, this oranges. Is huge for this. Yeah, but it's cute. It's cute. This is what we need. Hold on, I gotta. And some strawberries. Yep. Oh my god, we are brunching it up. We should have. We should order food. <laughs> I know. We should have like had. I should have like, made waffles. Bacon. I was just thinking that. Next time. Next time. Next time when oh, we have the obviously. rock on the rocks brunch. Brunch. Yeah. Ooh. Beautiful. Here you go. Oh my God, thank you That's so much. That's gorgeous. Wow. Alrighty. Oh, it does look beautiful. All right. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Bae. Ooh. Yeah, these are, these are full. They are full. Mm. Oh, that's a scrump. scrump. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. That is delicious. And it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it just makes it it just makes it better. I know. It's really beautiful. All I right, love it. that's good. Wow. That was delicious. I know. Oh my god, your first scrump are done. I know, can you believe it? It's official. I know, official. That's awesome. So Kate. Hi. You have to be probably the most creative person that I know. <laughs> or one of the most creative people. You think? No, for sure. Oh, thank you. Always throughout school, thank like, you. we were always friends. Yeah. In high school, we were in journalism together. Yeah, That was yeah. our first class together. I know. And that was freshman year, too. Freshman year, When yeah. journalism only had, like, 13 people in it. I know. We it was were... us and <laughs> Mr. Van Winkle. Yeah. <laughs> he loved us. That was great. Oh, he did. We had, no, we had a fabulous that time. That was a fantastic class. But that, I feel like, was when we really started, like, getting close yeah. and everything and then throughout high school we got just got closer and closer yeah and even post college and here till now i know i know and it's absolutely fabulous it's a beautiful friendship it. that we've maintained oh, all these for years sure. for sure for sure yeah but i will say like when i first started doing photography and even now like i yeah, tell us your journey so as a creative one well, of your forms of art is photography yeah so that is one of my forms of art but i was gonna mostly talk about like us. I feel like our friendship has always been like um like a creative like collaboration like oh, between the two of us and 100%. I feel like our friendship has really definitely challenged my mm. artistic creativity like really? I feel like we both like push each other oh, and I really love I agree. that well so when I first started doing portrait photography it was um I think it was our senior year of high school and I had been doing other types of photography. Like I did landscapes, you know, just the occasional, like, I don't know, car pick, like whatever. And yeah, you start off with still life. Yeah, like I did like a lot of nature and stuff like that. And I remember my senior year, you know, I wanted to diversify the portfolio, mm -hmm. of course. And 
you were actually the second person that I did portraits of. Yeah, who was the first? (laughs) Carly. Carly was the first. And I remember (laughs) we did that shoot and literally later that day, you were like, I heard you shot Carly. (laughs) We're shooting tomorrow. And that's exactly what we did. I know. I I came for her. I was like, there's no way. I had to to hop on the bandwagon. She started the trend. I'll give her credit. Yeah, no. I know she called me a copycat. Yeah, but that was good. (laughs) Like, that was good for me, you know, starting out and, you know, figuring it out. And that was, like, back in the day, too. Like, when I first started doing portrait photography, Mm. I was, like, just, like, slapping on, like, preset, like, edit filters that I made on Lightroom. And, like, I was banging them out in, Mm. like, one day. Like, I, I shot you guys and literally a couple hours later... You really? know, like I would deliver you guys. The yeah, you were always quick. And, even yeah. now you turn out photos quick. Yeah, yeah, I try to, especially like when I have like clients. You're, you know, gotta gotta appease, yeah, appease, yeah. appease no, of you, people. You do a fabulous job. You thanks, you understand thanks. clientele, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, you kinda have to. Like if you're yeah. in like an industry like that, like you gotta kind of like kiss ass and hype everybody up you know yeah that's very true yeah but you've definitely been a big part of my journey and we we do shoots all the time well we haven't we haven't done a lot recently we usually do one every year for my birthday yeah and i i love posting those those like are really just like my absolute favorite thing in the entire world is our birthday shoot i love them because it's you and i just constantly collaborating to come up with what we want to do for next year. You know what I mean? Like, it's always different, too. Yeah. I believe it was my 20th. We did a black and white vibe. I wore... Oh, my God. And we did um, the post four photos together. Yeah. I remember I had, like, that edit. Yes, they were all black and white. I was wearing... I think one of the pics I was wearing a white button down, Mm -hmm. loose black tie. Yeah. And then I wore crew neck and jeans in the other one. Very cute. Oh my God. Those were so cute. Love those. I love the ones in the city that one year when we went to Soho. Oh yes, when I was doing Maris in Manhattan. Those. Those were so good. Those are probably my favorite. That was also another, or no, that wasn't a birthday. That was just, I'm here living in the city. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what that was. But I think I had just gotten a new camera. Oh, and you were like, let's test it out. Oh yeah, those pictures. That's always my favorite text from you. Just got a new lens. Just got a new camera. I'm like, (laughs) (laughs) no, but I loved that New York shoot as well. That was a good one. It was really good. Colors were so vibrant because we shot in Soho. Yeah. I mean, even now all the talker is they're always taking photos in so soho and there's oh, a yeah. reason it's, it's a great spot it is it, honestly I, I, and we went so early in the morning so the streets were dead yes that's that, what helps that's that's the key if you mm-hmm. want to get good photos in soho you have to go early morning on a sunday because the stores open later on sundays mm-hmm. and so the traffic's not too bad yeah. it's it's really good that is the key time yeah traffic actually is never bad no because we were in and out in so and out. quick and we I found know. parking on the street yeah no that's actually like a go-to spot like even yeah. when we like shoot stuff like when Mackenzie had her boutique mm-hmm. and even with like idle stuff you know we definitely like that's a go-to a yeah go-to spot for sure no that's so true and then a couple one year we did last year we did a fabulous one we recreated the like black and white photo again but we did Bryant photography booth the photo booth yes we the made photo, the tiktok and that's, yeah that's the rocko on the rocks yeah photo. that's that's the rock yeah, on the rocks photo yeah, yeah. the cover photo i know yeah. like, like you said wow. a year ago like yeah. this was basically established yeah 2023 Around that time. yeah yeah and didn't come Two until 2024. I know. But like I said, like, I really have a lot of respect for people that, you know, can do this type of thing. Yeah. Like, you're really, like, putting yourself out there. And mm-hmm. honestly, it's a really, like, commendable thing. And I'm, ex- I'm so excited for you. No, I'm really so excited am. that you're on this podcast. I you're, know. You're with, I always give you the shout out at the end. And I'm like, to my creative director. Because you literally are. So like, sweet. You're, you're my Picasso. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, <laughs> you're you, too kind. No, I too swear. Sweet. It's so true. Too like. <laughs> Everything I have in my mind creatively, I always run it by you. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. I feel, yeah, and it, it's vice versa, too. Yeah, Like, 100%. when I have, like, a project or something that I really want to work on, mm-hmm. like, I'm I'm always calling you. Yeah. Letting you know what's oh, going no, on. Oh, no, 100%. Yeah, and I feel like we're good that way. Like, I, 
I think we were talking about this like a few weeks ago, how it's so much easier to, you know, come into a project and just see, you know, what needs work here, Uh what needs work there, Uh than it is to actually, you know, sit in your own project and your own creation and try to like, you've definitely helped us out like with Idol Mm -hmm. and, you know, vice versa with this. Like, I feel like when something's like out of place or something could be elevated, like we always check each other that way. Yeah, no, 100%. Well, because you like we've been doing it for so long together yeah like i trust you you know what i mean like i trust you it's It's natural natural you also have that eye for all of it too you know so i like know okay if i'm you know yeah i have to send it to you first before i do anything with it even like a basic (laughs) post on instagram like this looks good (laughs) yeah you're like caption (laughs) yeah 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 always always no that's i love that no i do too yeah and so you, you already brought it up. So Idol. Do you want to talk about Idol? Yeah, we can talk about Idol. Yeah. yeah so yeah. along with your creativity, you're a mogul. You're a business owner. Like yeah. you uh, you just do it all. Yeah, I try to. I, I like to keep busy, honestly. Uh, trust like, me, I feel free you on time, that. not mm-hmm. for me. <laughs> no, <laughs> free time is like days. us still trying to be creative, putting out content for it, like our work. Exactly. Like yeah. literally. Like honestly, even the stuff that we have to do for our work, like I never do that on my free time. Like, I oh, do that no, on no, any no, other no. time. Like, if I'm at the work and I'm slow, work. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I edit these pictures. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I, know, I know. Me, yeah. me pulling up, like, yeah. my, I hope my job never sees this, but uh, sorry. That's, it's okay. That's Everyone that's from my doing. job probably follows this, which shout out. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. Shout out work. <laughs> yes. Shout out work. Um, but yeah, tell us about Idol. I've worked on a couple content stuff with you, but tell yeah. everyone about it. Okay. So Mackenzie and I started a jewelry company, an online jewelry business, and it's called Idol the Label. Um, um, at idolthelabel.com if you want to check it out. Absolutely fabulous yeah, stuff. Yeah, idolthelabel on Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, so pretty much, you know, this is something that um, Mackenzie has always been extremely interested mm. in, you know, like jewelry, e-commerce, like yeah. she is, she's always had like oh, she's stores like, for hours. Yeah, oh, she's for just sure. a businesswoman She is heart. a businesswoman and she's a shopaholic. Absolutely. So like, she this could is combine the, perfect, the two, like she said. It's <laughs> the perfect thing. Honestly, like when we first started Idol, she said, Idol has yeah. been helping me with my shopping addiction. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> and it's going to make her money. Yeah, exactly. And so pretty much like we just started this because because it's been a dream of Mackenzie's for so long and the two of us together like we just make such a great team um Mm -hmm. and you know we just we get it done like she's better at the stuff that I'm lacking at and I'm better at the stuff that she's lacking at you know she's definitely like really good at the whole business aspect of it I'm definitely a little bit better at the creative stuff and so it's a good balance that we have and you know it's a project that we're really passionate about and we hope it blows up soon so um use code caitlin15 for 15% off your purchase um promo code but yeah so it's been it's been really fun honestly we've been the past few months we've just been kind of working on rebranding because originally when we were putting out content like it wasn't the most creative yeah. fun stuff and it took me a little bit to kind of get behind Mackenzie's vision mm. because she's an avid shopper and so she knows what all the stores you know what all the girls like what That's all the true. stores she's, are doing she's a trendy girl she is a trendy girl and so it's definitely taken me a little bit to kind of match her the vision that she had in her head that mm. maybe she couldn't fully articulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we're finally getting there, honestly. No. And yeah, check out our Instagram. I take I, all the pictures. I edit all the pictures. Um, and it's just it's just a good time. No, I, I loved also even just creating like the couple TikToks I have with you guys, like the TikTok page and everything for yeah. it. Yeah, I know things. Have, we need to get back. on We that. need to get back on it. But even that, like, yeah, it was just so fun, and it, was, yeah. it gave us something to do too. Exactly, like it's fun, you know, on a Sunday morning. Yeah, you know, grab everybody some coffee. Mm-hmm. We'll shoot some content, and everyone's yeah. just hanging out, having a good time. It's it's fun. I really. It, it we love. need to get back to it, but honestly, now that the the rebranding has kind of happened, I think mm-hmm. we could probably get more into the swing of things yeah no i'm 
You know me, girl. Yeah. Hit me up whenever. I'm so down. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll plan a day. I'm always down. Because I do need to get back on that. Yeah. I've been lacking a little bit, but. Yeah. That's know. okay. We've all been lacking. And, yeah. But this is our year. I said it. Year of yes. Yes. It is the year of yes. yes. We're doing the things we want to do. For real. Manifesting all our dreams. Manifesting all yeah. the dreams. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Even though. My dreams are ginormous, but manifesting them. Yeah, but you got to start somewhere. So. Got to start somewhere. For I totally, real. totally agree. Exactly. So, yeah. I know. I would love for us to, if we ever, like, eventually, we should just start our own creative agency. I think we should. Like, yeah. just reaching out to brands. Hey, what do you need? You need, a, you need a You need a post. You need a commercial. Like, yeah. let's, let's work content, together. content. Like, I'll yeah. shoot it. Like, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's sure. what we need. Honestly, my dream is to have, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Can somebody be our client? So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so How about we'll, add, we'll ask the companies we currently work for. Hey, guys, we have the creative agency <laughs> to promote you. Yeah. Let's, yeah, <laughs> let's collaborate. For real. Yeah, literally. Well, I already kind of do marketing, so. I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, we work in the field we want to work in. We already get yeah. paid for this, just not enough. <laughs> yeah. No, I totally feel it. That's yeah, so funny. That's all right. Um, no, I know. But yeah, it's the year of yes. I yeah. really want to just hone in and do all the things I wanted to do. Yeah, absolutely. Especially this. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. So you got to get, yeah. you know, yeah. got to get my stuff together. No, for real. But I'm proud of you, honestly. Thank so you. far, you've been consistent. You're sticking to yeah, your yeah. I, one episode a week. And one that's, episode a week. That's yeah, huge. Weekly. That's really huge, honestly. I know. It's been fun. And I'm enjoying it, too, because everyone, like, wants to come on, which is really nice yeah. and, like, reassuring. Not that I yeah. think if I were to ask, like, our like my friends, our friends, like, to be like, oh, do you want to come on? They would, like... They wouldn't say no, but no, I, but I could see people being like, I no. want to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, that's yeah. what's nice about it, you know? Yeah. So, it's sweet, and no, it's making sure. me, like, really happy about it. Yeah, no, I was excited to come on today. I mean, right before Thanks. I got on, I got a little bit nervous, but I'm good I know. now. I, I'm good Look, now. we all listened to my first episode. I was beyond nervous. You heard it. Yeah. And then yeah, it, but you finally get comfortable. But that was just the first episode, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like, the first one. Yeah. You, it's setting the yeah. scene. Yeah. And we only go but up this, from here. This sort of thing comes natural to you. Like, a foe, foe was saying it in the last oh, yes, episode. Yes, yes. Like, it really does come natural to you. And you're an entertainer at heart. And you I always just, has been. Yeah. I, yeah. Lo- I love it. I love the entertainment yeah. industry. I think it's I fun. No one cancel me, please. Oh, my God. Yeah. Don't, don't I'm cancel not, me. I'm not one about, like, you know, you say stuff in the past and let's bring it back up. No. Mm-hmm. I'm here now. I want to have fun. And I yeah. want to make people smile. Absolutely. Like, that's really just all I'm always about. So. Yeah. Absolutely. That's me. I love that. I know. And yeah, it's beautiful. even in... Um, High school, you you were a part of the plays. Yeah, yeah. You're probably fun fact the only person besides everyone in my house. Right. To uh, actually, that's a lie. So did 800 people in the theater hear me sing, and it was horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. Talk God. about trauma. I actually love. <laughs> no. When you played that for us recently, like uh. honestly. I probably wouldn't have remembered. Guys, there's this absolutely terrible, terrible video that I hope never resurfaces because I think I'm the only one to own it and thank the Lord for that. (laughs) It's pretty good, guys. In high school... If he gets canceled, it'll be for that. (laughs) Yeah, for my horrible singing voice. If we have this thing in high school called like Mr. Hawthorne, whatever, it's a male beauty pageant, yada, yada, yada. This was what? Years ago? Five, six, seven? Uh, Yeah, whenever we were in high school. Like five years ago. And basically... My this is my junior year and my talent for the show was a tribute to Beyonce. We love Beyonce. Love her, but I'm not her. And I thought, you know, why not sing a cappella like she does when she gets on stage? And you know what? Bad idea. All right. Luckily, it was only uh, like a couple seconds. Oh, a couple seconds, but also a couple seconds in front of 800 <laughs> people in the auditorium. And you're like, yeah. Uh, in front of all your peers. Yeah, all my peers, all I my friends. I feel like you're more embarrassed about it now when it doesn't oh, then, matter. Then there? Yeah, I know when it doesn't matter. Because looking <laughs> back, I'm like, oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. But yeah, even even in high school, I... I... I was never in the plays and never had any desire to do that. No, but you were the a, lights and everything. Yeah, you were I did always the lights. like, regardless of part of something yeah. creative, which yeah, is like I was always fabulous. Involved. Yeah, for sure. I was in the broadcasting club. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I actually joined that like my senior year. I should have been in and it the you whole also, time, but eventually after high school, you 
Did you not have your own studio? All right, so... Yeah, explain this to me. Okay, yeah, so, well, bringing it back to the broadcasting Mm. club, um, that's where I would say me and Anthony Ramos and Bilal, love Bilal, Kate Bilal recently got engaged. Did he really? He got engaged the other day. What is with everyone? Get- I mean, congratulations yeah. to him. But what is with everyone getting engaged? Oh my gosh! This, I don't know. This, the crisis is hitting. <laughs> like, uh, oh this- my god, you're 25 and you're not engaged, <laughs> and everyone else already is. No. Like, I literally feel like, oh, uh, what is with no. these people? Take your time. Take your time. I'm taking my time. Me and Mackenzie have been together for like almost six years now, but we're not getting engaged yet. I know, but you're gotta wait for the for the frontal lobe to to, <laughs> to, fully, to, to develop. fully develop i know this yeah. is my creative crisis like th- this <laughs> podcast everything i'm doing like my year of yes is yeah. my creative crisis to avoid like a life crisis mm, it's my yeah. creative crisis but this is good this is a oh yeah very productive i'm channeling way to have your crisis oh yeah i'm channeling what could possibly be extremely negative into something extremely positive oh yeah and it's this production absolutely yeah absolutely but anyway so shout out Bilal for getting engaged. engaged yeah um but yeah honestly we we got really close doing you know the broadcasting club um which i feel like sounds so nerdy but it was actually yeah, but... like such a good time like yeah. honestly like it was a really fun time and i kept in touch with them. i'm still in touch with them mm-hmm. like all the time um ramos was just recently here um yeah, you told me that. Yeah, the past few months. And so we've gotten to like rekindle and stuff. So that's been great. Um, but yeah, so after high school, you know, we were all kind of just doing our own thing. And then one day Ramos and Bilar are like, hey, we got an office space. Come by. And we just set up a bunch of computers and we, you know, we tried starting our own um, media production company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and... All, uh, we did we did a good amount of stuff. I mm-hmm. mean, um, they definitely did uh, a lot more than I did. But you know, we shot video game tournaments. Oh, um, cool! Yeah, we we tried to actually um, dabble briefly in music videos. No way! Um, yeah, we shot one, um, but that was kind of it. Honestly, we just we all just got really busy. Mm-hmm. Um, I think at the time, we were all working full time jobs while yeah. also being in school and trying um, to. And so yeah, and so mm-hmm. life just got pretty busy. But honestly. They're doing pretty well now. I think Bilal does marketing. Ramos works for a cybersecurity company. Oh, cool. He's like a cloud systems engineer. Um, nice. Yeah, I do marketing for a cybersecurity company. So I honestly wouldn't be surprised if at some point we all got together Pro- yeah. and did something, you know, fun, cool, and you know, creative, and just yeah, kind of like got best. it going. Um, but yeah, that was actually that was actually a really fun time in in my life. And no, when you I, told me that, I was floored. I was like, no way, yeah, that's that so was, cool. It was pretty good. I remember like um, one of my like better memories like with them is just kind of putting the whole thing together like the whole office we were yeah. putting in the flooring and they were just being like so dumb they yeah uh, they thank god i was there we wouldn't have got it done and you're then, the voice of reason <laughs> yeah of course of course um but yeah uh i remember doing like runs to uh to best buy and uh PC Richards uh, yeah, and you, you know that. stuff like that, and so it was it was a good time, honestly. That's um, awesome. Yeah, we almost died once. Um, that was scary. Yeah, yeah. Like was, setting something up. No, 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 no. We were like on the highway, and oh. Ramos' oh, his car oh, wouldn't oh, oh, break. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it was it was it was an ac- it was an accident. Yeah, almost. yeah, no, yeah, that was that was pretty bad. Mackenzie came and rescued us, and it was really nice. Um, Mackenzie always rescues she always does. everyone. Like if she's any, rescued yeah, me before, absolutely, she's a rescuer. Oh, she yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. I owe Mackenzie my life. Uh, I owe a lot of people my life, uh, yeah. I have to say, because yeah. everyone, someone's always rescuing me. But um, no, really, yeah. really appreciate her. She picked me up when we I fainted at the Billie Eilish concert. That was a great time. Oh, the best. <laughs> oh, my God. That. <laughs> I know. I know. That was so good. Honestly, me and Carly had a great time at the concert. It was it was a great concert. Uh, I wish I wish you would have been there. <laughs> I also had a great time in the concert in the back in hanging the, out with the, the EMTs. Pre, the pre-concert. <laughs> and the pre-concert, yes, was a lot, a lot of fun. It's fine. Honestly, thank God you fainted because I got to see Billy Eilish's dressing room. 
So true. Nice. Uh, true, 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 true. And everything. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. We need I need yeah. to I said this. Um we need to do another episode and yeah. like maybe dabble into that. But yeah, we need to spill the beans on, on that. Top I think of, it's time. <laughs> on top of being creative and doing all this creative work. Yeah. You are besides photography, you're amazing in painting and drawing as well yeah it's something i haven't done in a really long time yeah you gotta get back into it i really should i miss it too I re- yeah you used to dabble as well i know i know yeah i was in, stu- I, I was in studio art Can you, you believe were? that <laughs> i know that's actually like crazy i think i'm better at drawing than i am painting i kind of am too but i yeah I, but your paintings are gorgeous thank you thank you but i haven't honestly i'm so much better at drawing and in high school i got really good at color pencil Mm. which i thought was always really cool yeah color pencil is cool but yeah i definitely um i definitely need to to get back into it i need to get back into a lot of things that i used to do Mm -hmm. honestly like like something that i really love to do that i wish i still did um that i did a lot like when i was younger is writing like that yes no yeah. that's my that's my one true passion would like, you ever write a book okay so i did try to no way yeah i i probably still have it in a google doc somewhere i probably google got Drive. like yeah i probably got like um i don't know maybe like 30 pages in um it was a story 30 pages in yeah it was a it was like a story it, it was kind of like um like serial killer vibes like cute yeah it was like a story like about like a stalker that would make me so scared but yeah no no it was it was pretty good honestly as you heard from foe's episode i'm the biggest scaredy cat there is oh uh, yeah yeah you would probably be like scared to read my book but i did try to when i was younger and i don't know like you know what like i was actually thinking about this today about um how I wish that I wrote more and mm-hmm. stuff, but I realized that when I used to write, a lot of it was when I was like sad. You know what I mean? Because you're just so you're you're so right. in tune to like what you're feeling and stuff, so exactly. it's easier to just come out. Exactly. And I feel like I up until like recently, mm-hmm. I, I feel like I've never been somebody that's really good at like expressing my feelings and expressing yeah. my emotions. And so like growing up, like that was always like my outlet to really right. just like sort things out. But now that I'm like so happy and i love life and like I know, it's like I, oh my gosh how do i get back into this yeah yeah <laughs> like no, you I know totally, what i mean i totally get what you're saying yeah. and i honestly think like you just have to now figure out how to channel the ha- like ha- the way you're feeling into not yeah. not like obviously into words but you know what i yeah. mean like help you write something yeah for sure i just feel like sad shit is mm. so beautiful Oh, like yeah. sad stuff like heartbreak like all that stuff like you can and i think part of the part of the reason why i've always been like so creative is because it's really just it's just that like that is yeah. when you are really down like and you're really just like you know depressed or sad like it is such like a good like a good escape mm-hmm. you know what yeah, i mean and it, and it creates like really really beautiful art it does. like if if you choose to you know Channel it. yeah if you choose to you know turn something really horrible mm-hmm. into something that's like you know productive or you know just just beautiful like i always think that no it's true yeah it's i loved doing yeah. art like especially in high school and stuff. well that was really the only time i did it but yeah when we were doing it then i felt like it was just so it was so much fun because yeah. i mean i'm really never am you know what i mean a sad yeah. person but no, like even to kind of just like be able to try something different right yeah and express the way you feel through like different mediums exactly is really cool exactly and it's just like and you learn that a lot in art russo always taught us right right and 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 that's the thing shout out to you russo yeah shout out to russo i actually oh my god i when i was at the airport did you um, see her yes okay well i (laughs) i didn't see her i was so like consumed in my own like life getting through the airport mackenzie we're passing a starbucks and mackenzie's like am i going to starbucks no it wasn't where were we going 
it was when we went to Vegas mm. this past year. Um, apparently, and Nick told me this, she waved at me, but I didn't see her. Uh, because Mackenzie's like, oh, there's a Starbucks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, and no, I was like, well, let's just get to where we need to get. So I didn't see her, but oh apparently God, she uh, was there and she was waving and I missed heart her. Heartbroken. Oh, I know, I know. Heartbroken. I know, I know. But it's fine. Uh, we re- we recently collect- uh, connected on LinkedIn. So. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. Yeah, fabulous. So she made up for it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. That's um, awesome. But, I love yeah. that. But yeah, no, I mean, back to what you were saying, like, it definitely, I feel like, is like an expression of how you feel on the inside. And if you're just happy on the 100%. inside, like, you're going to make some beautiful, happy stuff. Like, uh, exactly. Yeah. That's really what it's all about. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, it's just a form of expression. Absolutely. And you make it however you want it to exactly. be. Exactly. Which is the even better part. Yeah. Yeah. I really love that. I, yeah. I think, too, like, um, when I was younger, something that I always loved to do, but it was always just for me. Like, mm. like nobody – actually, maybe maybe Nick has seen that side of me because it's something that me and Nick um, bonded on really early on in our friendship is I used to write songs. Oh, my – look at you. Yeah, yeah, I used to write songs. And, and me, me and Nick – have... <laughs> Okay, perfect. No, like yeah. – be... or Billy. No, for real. Like, I could. Like, I yeah. totally sell them my songs. Like, shit. You I should. I could totally write a really good Renee rap song, so don't worry. Um, I believe it. I'll call her. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, that's always something that no I way. really liked. But it's, like, it's, like, a secret. You know what I mean? A secret that I'm sharing that with all of you with today. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I really, I really loved it. That's awesome. 100%. Yeah. How many have you, like, off the top of your head, how many do you think you've written? Oh, so and have you lot. recorded any of them or you just write the lyrics? Okay. So, I've probably written, like probably like two albums like i could like if i were to put like lay out all two my albums. songs like i could totally get like two albums out of it like i'd say maybe like 20 to 25 songs yeah and Kate, that's crazy I that's know, so this good is, this is my secret yeah like, this no is, <laughs> this is my secret passion that's like, awesome um yeah and so some of them i've recorded a lot of them I've recorded just in like my phone notes. You know what I mean? Like just on you a guitar. Or just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, guitar, okay, okay. a little a little bit of singing. But um Nice. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's my that's my secret. And Nick really has a passion for songwriting too. Hmm. But where Nick is a little bit challenged is he doesn't know how to play any instruments. And hmm. so it, it's a little hard to yeah. like create like a cohesive like Peace, peace when you don't play an instrument <laughs> yeah no but, i totally totally but yeah get that. i love a i love a good like acoustic guitar like that's sappy crazy. lyrics uh, I had song. No idea. yeah I'd, I'd, I'd probably put out a pretty pretty good like alternative album oh yeah, yeah i could totally yeah. see that being your genre of music yeah for sure without a doubt yeah, yeah definitely so that's awesome yeah that's my that's my secret oh no i'm way. glad i got to share it with you guys no I'm, I'm so <laughs> glad you guys shared on this podcast that's awesome <laughs> yeah for real yeah that's so cool i know i love i wish i could be musically inclined yeah, i'm not but uh, you you've sang no okay we okay singing let's not talk is a about different story thing. Let's... but i'm saying instrumental wise like t- tom for me is beyond so oh no he's really great really yeah, talented so yeah. so talented so yeah he's always been it's always been like i've had him as my outlet for the instrumental yeah, yeah, piece yeah. you know what i mean of course which has been great yeah but singing for me i just want to be on broadway that's my one one dream in life i could sing a show tune was, for sure i was just gonna say that i feel like you're a show tune singer oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't sing like pop or rock or any of the other shit like yeah, i mean i haven't heard you i've only heard you like exclusively yeah, yeah, yeah. sing show tunes like yeah. at one time we recorded we tried yeah was, i was gonna do something funny and give my family um uh <laughs> What what are they called? Like a mixtape yeah, of yeah. me covering Broadway show tunes <laughs> as a funny joke, but yeah, I, we never did it because I literally tried to record it and I was like, I am mortified. This is the scariest thing I've it, ever done. I will say it 
I feel like when you sing a song, right, and you're not in front of a microphone, it's always flawless. Oh, yeah. But then the second you step in front of the microphone, like, you get nervous, and then your voice does, you know, that weird little thing yeah, yeah, where yeah. now all of a sudden you're up an octave mm-hmm. when you never sang it like that ever, ever yeah. in your life. Yeah, I've, I've had that experience. No, I know. It's so scary. Yeah. But maybe with these mics, I'll record something. Honestly, LOL. these <laughs> mics are fantastic. You yeah, really should. They like, are pretty good. If you ever wanted to put out the Rocco Christmas album, this is <laughs> the, Christmas album, this is the time to do it. <laughs> this is the time. Yeah. Maybe I'll surprise my parents with that for this, ho- for this holiday season. That'd be cute. I think, I think your mom would love they'll it. They'll listen to this, forget about it, and then uh, come December, oh, yeah. they'll get it under the tree and be like, what the hell is Ooh. that? It'd be funny. We'll see. It's one of my dreams to be on Broadway. Maybe yeah. one day I'll get there. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? It's that, Dancing with the Stars, obviously being on, like, I always wanted to be a talk show host, so that's this. Yeah. And a model. But honestly, yeah. I've actually been achieving all of my goals with you. Yeah. I yeah. model for you. Yeah. You help me with this podcast. Yeah. I... Saying in front of we, you. We, we recorded the show we, tunes. We recorded the show tunes. And Dancing with the Stars, not yet. We, we're yeah. not there yet. Not but yet. soon to not be. Yet. This is so. my first audition tape. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever yeah. they want me to come on as a star, <laughs> I'll... Um, yeah. We'll play this episode and they'll it'll they'll remember it, me manifesting it now. Oh yeah. But yeah, those sure, were always my sure. goals in life. And honestly, you helped me achieve all of them. Yeah, we've we've done it all. I know. We've done it all. Kind of crazy. I know. I know. That's fun. I love modeling. It's like my favorite thing to do. You're honestly like you're probably one of the easiest people to take photos of. Thank you so much. Like <laughs> I and I've only said that about like a handful of people because like I don't frequently shoot Mm. with people that actually have, like, any experience, like, actually modeling. Mm. Like, it's usually people are like, oh, no, I'm shy. Tell me what to do. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guide me. Guide me. Yeah, like, you you don't need any guidance. You don't need me to tell you what to do. Like, honestly, like, if anything. I'm ready to go. Yeah, like, I've honestly learned a lot, like, from you and just, like, watching you. Because now, like, if somebody's like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm like, oh, well, one time Rocco did something and it looked good. So (laughs) try try this. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's definitely helped me. I think it's helped too because I've always watched. um, I've always watched the red carpet. I see how the celebrities pose on the carpet. I stalk their Instagrams. I watch like I know what they look like in print. I look through magazines. Like I, you know, it's something I enjoy. So I'm educating myself on it. Yeah. So that when the time does come for me, which it does every time we're together, I'm ready to go. But yeah, you're also it does, it's also better because you're very photogenic. Thanks, yeah, you're so very much. good at taking photos. <laughs> no, I have my parents to thank for that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, thanks mom and dad. <laughs> you guys are so sweet for the jeans that for you blessed jeans. me with. Um Yeah, for sure. But yeah, no. It's just so mm-hmm. fun that constantly we are just on this creative journey. I know. It's really fun. And I'm glad that we get to do it together, for sure. Oh, same. Yeah. And I love like learning new things about you each time yeah yeah because i just feel like it it brings us closer every time i know and you know what makes me laugh and i'm gonna out you right here the best was one i'm scared (laughs) (laughs) one time i don't even know what it was but you said to me you're like i didn't think we'd be friends for this long i was like yeah oh my god really really? didn't think like i don't know why but okay no the reason why is because you don't stay friends with a lot of people that you go to high school with like, you know what I mean? Like, In the grand scheme of things. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have, like, the unique situation where, you know, your friend group mm. all just, like, you know, stay together and yeah. stay friends. And, you know, that's something that a lot of people don't have. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so, like, I honestly, like, I talked to maybe, like five people that i went to high school with yeah like that's about it Mm -hmm. and so that is why but no that's valid but i love that i was able to pull a fast one on you i know i know you really you really surprised us all i know (laughs) (laughs) no but i am very thankful for our friendship oh same like i love just hanging out with you like when we hang out like we just like we just chill i know i always feel like sometimes (laughs) and i'm saying this i have so much love for Mackenzie. she's third wheeling (laughs) oh oh 
hundred percent. It's always me and you, and Mackenzie's just there, like on her phone. Like, I know it's yeah. so funny sometimes. We'll yeah. be on the couch, like watching it. Yeah, well, <laughs> just and, watching uh, a show. I'll be like <laughs> coming over by you to like cuddle. Yeah, and we're holding hands. <laughs> always, always. Yeah, no. We, it's the so best cute. is that we will always go a week without seeing each other because oh we'll hang out every weekend yeah. we really will yeah yeah and it'll always be a week of a time like time frame apart and every time every time we get it's together the same like no. oh, i miss you so much you. like what, what's going on what's new like oh my God. it's been one week <laughs> no but, one week but without fail every time <laughs> oh i know i can't believe like <laughs> I know you'll be moving soon. I know. Which I'm beyond excited for because I, I selfishly like we'll always have a place to stay in Cali when oh, we go. Absolutely. And I'm so excited that we're going on a trip together I, to California. We are going to do so much like fun, creative, so, yeah. like eat it up. Yeah. We're going to have so much content when we go. I know. It's actually going to be so fun. I know. I kind of want to tease everyone what could happen, but I feel like uh, maybe not. No, 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 no. We won't. No, 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 no. But I'm so excited for that. And I'm selfishly really excited that you're moving there because a, i have a place to stay so thank you for that yeah bless. and <laughs> sadly though for me i think i don't it's gonna be so weird that know, every like, week of like oh my god i haven't do? seen you yeah literally. i know literally i'm literally gonna have to it'll be like a month and I i'm gonna have to come We're like once a month talk on the phone like every day oh like obviously. you're literally gonna have to we do that now month. but like regardless yeah, it's gonna yeah. be like oh my god <laughs> no seriously <laughs> yeah. I, it's it's bittersweet like i know we were just talking about it but like yeah. it's just now like starting to hit me like after we've been planning for this mm. for a really long time and i'm just finally now like feeling like damn I'm really gonna miss it's coming up. everybody. I know. Yeah. But again, like we said, something really exciting to look forward to. A year of yes. It's yeah, all new things absolutely. happening. Absolutely. And we're gonna do so many shoots there I when know. I live there. I'm so Every excited. time you come, we're gonna have a new shoot. I can't wait for like a really good beach shoot. Like yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm so excited. No, I'm actually really excited to to move there because one, my dream is to have a photography studio, which I hope, you know, I'm manifesting it now. Mm. I hope that's, you know, what ends up coming about, yeah. you know, this with this, you know. You know new chapter mm. but also like I, right now i do like a lot of like wedding photography engagements you like, do Andrews. yeah yeah i do like i do a lot of like events like that like i do parties right. sweet 16s like blah 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 but that's not what i love to do right i love to just shoot portraits and shoot fun like creative stuff and so I think moving to LA yeah, magazine covers like girl, yeah I like see all it. the influencers mm -hmm. like it's yes you uh, know it's actually going to be the perfect environment mm -hmm. for me to be in and to really you know just exercise your, my, yeah. my creativity yeah I'm really excited I love yeah I'm excited for you pros and cons but I know a lot of pros and cons but mostly yeah. pros for mostly us. pros <laughs> yeah for sure no it's actually gonna be so fun and I can't wait. And I can't wait for you to come visit. Yeah, I and can't. it's going to be so fun. No, it's going to be the best time. Yeah. The time of my life, I think. Oh, absolutely. But, yeah, this, I think that's our show. Yeah, this is, this has been really good. No, this was absolutely amazing. Really yeah. high note to end on. I know. I feel I, like this we're was like a really out, like, like on the couch. Fabulous. Yeah. I hope inspiring episode for those, yeah. like, who want to so dabble too. into creativity and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I feel like this was fabulous. Absolutely. Like, seriously, like. I, I feel like a lot of people always wait for the motivation yeah, or the inspiration yeah. to come. At, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's never going to come. never going to come. You just have to do go it. out there, do it, dabble, like mess up. Like we literally just recorded like the whole 45 minutes of this podcast and it didn't save. Yeah. Like, you know, you just have to do stuff. Like yeah. Trial and error. It's trial, constant trial and error. Exactly. And don't give up like at all. Exactly. Like try every solution. If you're going to be afraid, you that if you, something scares you, you that's what you're supposed to to be doing exactly and like don't be afraid to put yourself out and there. i'm really taking that to yeah like my mantra besides like the year of yes like yeah if something scares you do it exactly like you're never you're never gonna want to like Ex exactly. you know what i mean like you can have all these dreams and all these like aspirations. aspirations but if you don't like put your best foot forward and actually act on it like it's just gonna be a dream and you're gonna live a life like full of regret at I least that's been my experience. Uh, you yeah. want to know one of my regrets? Yeah. I haven't picked up my tattoo machine. 
Oh my God. Thank yeah. God you said something because yeah. I totally forgot to bring I that forgot up. About that it's too, been so but... long. I remember I was there when you got it. I yeah. was so excited for you. Yeah. You need to pick that up. I know. I know. I'm the next time you come on, stuff that you should, I, I want do. you to at least try one. <sighs> okay. Or I, at least picked up the gun. I have picked it up once. That's it. I need to do it. Like, I really need to yeah. because that'll be cool. That would be really cool. That'll be a good side game. Maybe, maybe I'll have it as an episode. Oh, maybe not tattooing me but no, someone no, no, else bro, i'll come and tattoo a guest yeah yeah if you want a free tattoo yeah come, come tattoo a guest amateur. that would be so fun yeah that'd be cool if i ever get married i want to have a tattoo artist there. at my wedding that's so cool yeah that'll be fire oh my god i would love that yeah not that i would get one but i would love it yeah. Um, oh my god, I'm so glad you brought up that little tidbit because A, I forgot about it because it's been forever since well, you well, picked yeah, it up. Well, yeah, I just was reminded when I was literally telling everybody, follow your dreams, follow your dreams and here and I here. am. <laughs> not, not Isn't that the best when you're supposed to tell everyone and then I you don't know. do it yourself? It's fine. It's fine. I know. <laughs> you gotta cut but yourself now, slack. Now, now we have to listen to ourselves and do it. Yeah, for sure. This this year, I'll do it. This year. Don't worry, guys. We'll, we'll get I'll, on it. I'll keep everyone updated. Don't you worry. Yeah, yeah we'll I'll let you know. Well, with that, this was an absolutely fabulous, fabulous episode. Yeah. Kate, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for I'm having me. I'm beyond excited that I have you here sitting with me. I know. And yet, just continuing the creativity that we I both know. have together. On your birthday. Huge On my birthday, tomorrow. yeah. Aww. 25. Happy birthday. Crazy. Thank you. Aww. Welcome to my creative crisis, everyone. Yes, welcome. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's all we have today. Do you yeah. want to do a couple shout outs? Um, shout out Mackenzie. Shout out Nick. That's about all I got. <laughs> Shout out you for Shout another year around the sun. Yes. And yeah, this has been awesome. This has been awesome. Yeah. This has been really special. Yeah, for sure. Everyone, thank you so, so, so much for listening to another episode of Rocco on the Rocks. You can listen to this episode on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and you can also watch it on YouTube. Follow it at Rocco on the Rocks. That is the username on all of those three platforms. You can also follow us on Instagram at rocco.ontherocks. And you can follow my personal Instagram at rockyp61, Beautiful. as well as my TikTok at rockyp61. <laughs> awesome. Again, thank you, everyone. I'm going to give my couple shout outs. Shout out to my mom, my dad, my fam, Christina, Drew, my brothers, my poos, my creative director, Kate, and Mackenzie. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, huh? I love, I'm so happy I get to say it with you I here. Know, it's so cute. <laughs> I always look forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's today's episode. Remember, everyone, always be your best self. Do not forget to smile. Life's what you make it, so let's make it rock, rock stars. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next week. <laughs> Hello. I know. This is so awesome. <laughs>